Meanwhile, let's go to Senator Marsha Blackburn, who voted uh, no on this bill, along with five other senators. Senator, are you surprised the president blew this up tonight? I am really not surprised. You know, we have worked for months on targeted relief that would meet the needs of the American people. And I talked to Tennesseans, and they want relief for small businesses, a plus up in unemployment, money for schools. They want to get back to work. They want to get children back to school. They need liability protection, which is not in this bill. And I think the president looked at what finally got cobbled together and said, hey, wait a minute, you've got all this money that is going to give money to illegal aliens in the country. It's going to give them money retroactively. And you're spending money with uh, Pakistan, higher ed in Egypt, uh, renewable energy in Africa, but your money is not going to the right places and it's not helping people that need relief. And I, I am not surprised at all. And Brian, I yeah. will tell you, a lot of people that have looked at this bill today have said, wait a minute, I thought we were gone, done with the days when we had to pass something so we could read it and find out what was in it. The appropriations bills, uh, they say, were, were, uh, were something you guys could have uh, visited, but it was only, you only had a matter of hours to go through 6,000 pages. Right. Uh, Senator Blackburn, so do you expect to stay now through Christmas? Because a lot of the stuff you were describing, and we'll run through some of it, if you could just pop it up in terms of foreign aid, the Pakistani gender uh, diversity stuff. We have uh, the, uh, some of the other examples include uh, the Egyptian army giving them money to buy, uh, to buy material from Russia, 86 million to Cambodia, 130 million to Nepal. Ukraine gets a whole boatload of money. That must really stick in his craw. Also, why are we funding the Smithsonian? Again, it's still closed. The Kennedy Center, $40 million. You're right. It's still closed. So all That's this right. stuff just went into the president's face. Dan Scavino tweeted something out earlier, his key aide, and then the president knocked it uh, out of the park. So I wonder what's going to happen next. It's, it's, uh, it's embarrassing. Final thought? People want to see help coming to people that have been adversely impacted by COVID-19. They are hopeful that the vaccine is going to be readily available soon, but to have a piece of legislation where money is going for museums and art in foreign countries, when the American people are trying to get to a point that they can recover from this, and with their lives and their livelihoods, it really was kind of, it hit everyone the wrong way. I'm glad I was a no vote. I want to put my emphasis on helping people that are trying to recover from right. the impact of COVID-19. Yeah, like restaurant workers, we'll talk to them uh, shortly. Like all and these, live entertainment. Uh, these lockdown yeah. artists. Yeah, the, the mayors and the governors, they just want to lock down. They have one move and they keep using it. Senator Blackburn, right. thanks so much. He voted no, uh, one of a very small number that voted no. Appreciate it. Meanwhile, despite the criticism, some...